So a few of you actually asked me to play this game, so, you know, here we go. So we've got some kind of operator system at the beginning. Um... I don't know what's good and what's not. I've played this game PvE, I've actually done a video about it, but I've not really done the player versus player and... I think that's an AR. I don't even really know what I'm doing, if I'm being honest, ladies and gentlemen. But a lot of people have been saying this game reminds them of Black Ops 3. Now. This game is only available right now on PC, but there is plans, I believe, to bring it out on consoles. So let's um, have a game, see how we get on. Obviously, it's early in its development, free to play, it is what it is. Okay, I'm trying to throw a grenade. Oh, and I've got a little light, R2, not R2-D2, it looks like short circuit. Okay, so you got slide movement on this game. For all your slide sweats out there. Okay, where is everybody? Is everybody camping in a corner? Am I playing Modern Warfare 2 right now? Am I playing Modern Warfare 2? Okay, there's a teammate. So we're playing Domination. Oh. No okay, camp. I'm shooting my own teammate. Trust me, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that I will only upload this game if I do really, really well. <laughs> so if you're watching it, spoiler alert, but I turn it around at some point, no doubt. Point deactivated. I think you even level the guns up, so at the moment I've got real no attachments for this weapon. I'm just trying to get the excuses out there. New point has oh my god. I even aimed away. Oh, with the person behind who I was shooting at who killed me. This game feels like Black Ops 3. But I've got to unlock all my weapons. There's a lot of customization camos for all you camo people out there who love camos. You can earn them all, I believe, free. But there is some, you know, what you pay for. There's a battle pass system and all that kind of stuff. Ah, shot in the bank. Take some medicine. Oh, it's like a pack I throw on the floor. Right, okay. Oh, my God. This isn't going very well. I don't think this is going to get uploaded, chat. I've, I've got to make it look like I'm a MLG Nadia, you know, streamer with um, the cheats on. Just got to get used to it. It's like any game, guys, you know. You know how I don't appreciate... Oh, skill-based match. Ah! Oh, you're trying to revive somebody. You can actually revive people when they're dead on you. What the hell's that flip? What's that doing buzzing around me? Oh, I can actually shoot it. Oh. The time to kill... The time to kill is slightly longer than um, what you all experienced on Modern Warfare 2, so it does give you a bit of an opportunity to get away, but you're kind of dead, really, when somebody shoots you. But yeah, you can level the weapons up. Loads of content, loads of stuff to level up and progress on. I've got, like, the bottom weapon. I haven't even got an attachment on this weapon, guys. So I've got to unlock everything. Again, getting my excuses out. Shooting my own teammate. Amazing. Any game like this, just a note to the developers. If you're watching this game, Mr. and Mrs. Developer, why don't you just bring it out on console at the same time as PC? You get a lot more momentum. Great, I'm dead again. This ain't going very well, guys. I don't think this video is going to go up. Doing a live gameplay commentary, if you haven't noticed. But yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Developer, please let me know your plans for this game. Why don't you just release it on PC as well as the console at the same time? You get a lot more traction. Oh, there, there, there. Back away, back away. Oh, get wrecked. Hip fire for the win. Put me a help. Oh! Nice. Oh, you've got those... Oh, what's my ultimate? That's like an ultimate. I think that's just healing me. You actually get those badges flash flash up on screen like you've got on Black Ops 3. You know, the cool emblems flashing up. Somebody around here. Right, get back. That's it. you just got to hit fire, guys. Hit fire. Aiming down sights. Overrated. Here's the med kit. 
So I'm just looking at the minimap. I don't think you show up on the minimap when you fire. I need an enemy to fire at me. Point is about to expire. The maps are a lot more, you know, simplistic. Can I jump up here? No, I can't. Yeah, the maps are a lot more simple than the maps what we've just seen in Modern Warfare 2, so... Feels a bit more like COD with the maps. What do all those red things mean? Does that mean where people are when there's like a red cone? Is that... Yeah. That's only when I can see an enemy though. Oh no. Whenever somebody fires an unsilenced weapon, you get those um, those things on the map. So there you go, guys. We've actually got the map on this game, what we want in uh, Modern Warfare 2. So let's turn it around a bit. You know, playing the objective. I think I can actually... Yeah, so look at that, guys, yeah? I've hardly got any attachments. They're all... It's party time. I've got all shit gear, so... Yeah, when this gameplay commentary goes up and it's um, straight up trash, you know why. It's nothing to do with your boy, you know, Cybe. Also known as just Simon, being shocking at the game. Mr. and Mrs. Developer as well. Has this game got skill-based matchmaking? Let me know. Gonna hide in a corner. Again, play the objective, that's what I do. Great. Oh! Short circuits just run out and shot him. Nice. We're not doing terrible, but we're playing the objective, guys. You know how it is on this channel. We play the objective. That's what that's how we roll. Plus it don't help me talking crap while I'm trying to play a video game as well. Oh, you can actually move some of the map stuff as well. What happened there? Yeah, you can actually move things on the map to actually create choke points and shit like that. Can't actually jump very high in this game. There we go, there's one dead. Bit of a choke point there. Might actually be worthwhile putting my um, ultimate down here. Heal everybody up. Can I actually kill anybody? That ultimate is actually quite good. See a lot of those things come out up like Black Ops 3. You can slide out of gunfire. Oh, I'm going to die. Well, I'm top of my team. 1.6 KD, you guys. Your boy's going positive. It doesn't even feel like I'm going positive. I don't feel like I'm getting more kills than deaths. Oh, my aim is straight up trash. So just pop the drone down. Short circuit as I have now named you. Does that come up when you see them or does it come up when you actually when they fire a weapon? Okay, we're doing well, we're doing well. Put some health down, put some heals down. There we go, another one's dead. Does it actually replace people with bots when people back out? I think some are in their bots on their team. Great, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I think most of their teams are bots. You know with the names on the scoreboard? I don't know. They must be. I'm not a fan of bots in multiplayer. I'm assuming they're bots. See that Sea Orc guy? That's got a name, but look at him. Brick, Sin, Drizzle. I'm definitely playing bots, and they've got bots on their team. Such a shame. I've actually realised as I'm playing the game. I don't know if people are backing out or not, but it's pretty shit, isn't it, really? The game's only just been released. It's filling us full of bots in the lobby instead of real players. Bit disappointing. But I've still had fun. Hopefully, you know, people see this video I upload and, um, you know, we get more players playing the game. But again, a game like this, free to play, first person shooter, feels like Black Ops 3. Gameplay mechanics are decent. I'm not going to say they're amazing because they're not. It needs a bit of work, but 
I'm just hoping that this game comes out on console because it needs crossplay and it needs to be on console. You know, for any kind of game now. As much as I dislike crossplay because there's a lot of people in the PC community who are just straight up cheating. Games like this, new IPs, need to be crossplayed because if they're not crossplay, they're going to die. If they're only on PC, they're going to die. So yeah, if you're one of the developers of this game, you know, leave a comment, let me know. I'll pin it to the top of the comment section so everybody can see. But yeah, great game in theory. I've had quite a bit of fun playing it, but you know, it just needs more people playing it. And that's down to the developers to market it in such a way. All right, take it easy, all. If you're new here, subscribe. Love you. Bye-bye.